This is a fun one. All the way from Lima, Peru, Eduardo is on the line. Hello, Eduardo. Hey there. <clears throat> Hi, Leo, Alex. I'm a long-time um, subscriber, al almost 10 years ago. Oh, nice. Well, I was in Lima about five years ago, four years ago. Loved it. We were on our way up to Machu Picchu. I just, I just love your country. And by the way, Peruvian food is the best food oh, in South America. So it is amazing. It's and uh, in fact, we just got a Peruvian restaurant down the street. Oh, really? You know that? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I am thrilled to talk to you. What can we do for you, Eduardo? Uh, well, um, a few uh, days ago, I, I bought a Mac Pro. Uh, no, you course. didn't buy that. The trash can Mac, the black Mac, you bought that? Yep. What are you, nuts? Uh, I need it for, for work. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So, um, it, they it haven't has, updated uh, that since it came out two and a half years ago, right? Yeah. yeah it's very yeah. pretty. You must be in a... Are you a designer? I'm an architect. Ah. I work in 3D. Okay. And I what software do you use? I use 3D Max. Okay. Nice. So uh, I don't have uh, 3D Max on, on a Mac version, so I need to install in, in Windows. And um, I need all the resources of the machine in order to uh, right. render and, and, and stuff. So you're not going to use uh, uh, VM uh, for this. You you definitely want to use a boot camp and make it yeah. be a Windows machine. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And the problem is that um, it comes with uh, two, uh, 256 gigs of, of uh, SSD. Yeah. And that's uh, too, too little. <laughs> I think Apple's intention with the trash can Mac, which is kind of ironic because it is a beautiful icon, mm -hmm. but their intention was that you add all Thunderbolt drives. Which is pretty much what we do. We have like three of them sitting in my yeah, office. Yeah, they look like we, spiders yeah, with yeah, all these all things the around, which kind of takes away some of the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. But it does allow you to easily add capacity and, and so forth. And it's really the only way you can upgrade. The only upgrade you can make in that is the is memory. Uh, that's the only thing you have access to unless you hack the thing. So um, with 256 gig, you're not, I mean, Windows only takes maybe 15 to 20 gigs to install, so you could probably move. But the rendering and everything else that you need for oh. your internal capacity is the real issue, right? Exactly, exactly. Yep. And the temporary files, uh, all the memory that it, it needs uh, in, the, in the C drive. Right. How much, how much storage do you think you need? Uh, at least 150 gigs. Okay. Right, because what happens is, is that all the all the drive. Because yeah. these these aren't the actual rendered files; these are the, just the the work files that that Max uses. So what happens is is that you have Max is like many other three D programs. It has to save a lot of data. This is just for you know for people to understand that it it's got to have it right where the app is, and it's going to save all that data. And it, that can be lighting information, that can be geometry information, texture information in the format that it needs to render as fast as it can. Now, as soon as it's done rendering all those frames, it throws that all away, or, or you can save it as a cache. But that's the problem, is that that internal drive becomes a real, uh, very, very small. So, I haven't tried this. You can't put, you can't use Boot Camp to use a Thunderbolt drive, an external drive, as the as the storage drive? But that would be a D drive, it's, right? It's that not seen. It's not seen, the, 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 the external drive. When Even I, if you use it in boot camp, whatever drive, if right. you boot from oh, right. the external that, that drive, that's going to be right. your C drive. But you're saying boot camp doesn't see a Thunderbolt drive. Doesn't see it. What the what? Again, another reason no one should ever buy this Macintosh. I, very, I was very disappointed with it. And, and frankly, they eclipsed it almost immediately with a 5K iMac. Um, and I'm not sure how the trash can Mac Pro is any better than an iMac. We have a, we have a handful of uses that we needed for you know for what we're of doing. Because the Xeons, because um, well, there's certain rendering engines that we use that are only that really yeah. only work on that. So and stuff it's got we, dual graphics cards, but which were you know pretty state high of the art end when they came out. When they came out two and a half years ago, right? Not not state of the art by any means. But anymore. now our day to day stuff, most of it's all iMac, and then we. But again, we have to use those for specific renders. So and and our stuff is very high. Uh, similar to the stuff that you're doing. Um, on so a, on a Anthony, I think, was it Anthony found this? Anthony did some research, went to some Reddit, uh, subreddits on this, and found a program called WinClone that I think will fix your problem. So this is an interesting utility. It is designed specifically for Macintoshes. It comes from two canoes. It's designed specifically for Macintoshes 
to clone a boot camp install. So if you were going to use, the way you would use WinClone is you would install boot camp on your internal drive. That's apparently the only way right. you can do it on that machine. But then you could use WinClone to clone it to an external Thunderbolt drive, has, have as much space as you want, and it would then boot from that Thunderbolt drive. In fact, here's some examples on the Two Canoes site for exactly. Now, I haven't tried this. Uh, I don't think anybody here has tried it. I should probably. I'm not really doing much with my Mac Pro. Um, of course, you have to have an EFI, a UEFI install, but you will if you use Boot Camp and install on the internal drive. Um, but all the details are here. This is an inexpensive program that does exactly one thing, and the one thing you want, which is take a working Boot Camp image from your internal drive and move it to your external drive. And then, of course, you just hold down the Option key when you boot. I presume the Mac Pro, I, don't, I can't think of any reason why I wouldn't, will boot from a Thunderbolt drive, right? It's just boot camps can't see the Thunderbolt drive. Yeah. Yeah. So that, this, should, this should solve that. Yeah. Win, and I, they have a free basic version that you could try just to see if it's going to do what you want. It comes from twocanoe.com. Actually, it's not quite free, it's, but it's only $20. And, and you're only going to use this once. So I don't think you have to worry too much about sharing wind clone images over networks or packaged-based boot camp image deployment. That's for big installs. You're just going to do this for yourself. So the $20 version should be, should be plenty. That's, that's great. I think so what do you do? Work. So you're an architect, but you use 3D Studio Max. Yeah, uh, I, I work in 3DBs, uh, architectural visualization, it's, it's called. Um, so um, any, anybody, any client gives me some plans and I, and I deliver um, videos or, or images. Of, of the project and so uh, so like a pre-visualization yeah so we've, we've actually done a fair fair bit of this so uh, yeah. we use cinema 4d for a lot of the stuff that we do from from that process but max can be easier because it's all really tied into our autocad so when and my so college roommate was uh, in architecture school he built everything with foam core and razor blades so and he taped it together and he built these models it was a lot of work you're saying they don't do that anymore the old ones do <laughs> they build it in the computer Oh, that's nice. Also, you can uh, uh, try color, color um, comparing colors if you like. Of, sure. Of, or Put furniture in there. Yeah. Well, and you yeah. can do whole fly-throughs, right? I mean, so you can... That's yeah, so much better. So, so you can really get a sense of it. Do you have the little green screen folks that you can put in there walking around while you're flying through? Yeah, exactly. And then, yeah. now what do you... Uh, here's, here's a question for you. What are you using for your foliage? <laughs> um, I am... Um, I have a library f that I that I bought from Evermotion, uh -huh. and also I use um, it's a plugin that uh, RPC uh -huh. that you you have the the, the trees, uh, but those are not that great um, quality. I prefer for for close-ups. I prefer Evermotion. That's uh, a lot of models that you have. You you can choose. You can change color. It's in 3D. Of course, they, they take a lot of uh, space and, and data, but some of these uh, some of these uh, foliage uh, simulators I think are, are really fascinating because they they really the add a lot. Blow oh, everything's the wind yeah, it's all and there and it's it's, wow. it's pretty it's pretty cool. The uh, chat room is also pointing out that you can go to somewhere like Otherworld Computing MacSales.com and buy a new internal drive. Apparently, you can upgrade the internal drive in the Mac Pro. They sell them as big as four terabytes. So if you wanted to keep it all internal, I, I guess you could. I did the same thing as you. I kind of bought the base level Mac Pro with the kind of small internal hard drive. In those days, 256 gig SSD, that was expensive, right? Right. I think I spent almost four grand on my uh, Mac Pro. Makes a very expensive but lovely doorstop. <laughs> well, I know, I know. We use for a lot of our Linux machines. We're constantly swapping drives. You know, so we have you know a build for one thing that that Linux machine may do, sense. and then we just yeah. swap it out and, and have it. Th you know, serve and a Thunderbolt. Use. It's only Thunderbolt two. Thunderbolt three is out now, but it, but it's that's fast enough. Absolutely. Yeah, that's almost as good as, or in fact, probably as good as an internal drive. Hey, it's really nice to meet you, Eduardo. I'm so glad you have been uh, subscribing for all this time. In uh, Peru. Thanks. Uh, uh, this was really a pleasure for me to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank Good you. luck. Let us know how that works, okay? So we can report back. I appreciate I'll, I'll, it. I'll let you know. Thanks, Eduardo. Take care.